Hello, it's AdorkableLiz77 and today I'm going to do a first impression on the new Hard Candy Sheer Envy Primer. This is the Shine Free one. I got this at Walmart for $8. Hard Candy is cruelty free and pretty affordable. I believe they are owned by Urban Decay. Last time I checked. So this claims that it controls shine for a matte finish. It says it prevents oil buildup and residue shine while reducing the need for foundation touch-ups. Lightweight primer is suggested for oily, sensitive, or problem-prone skin. Apply fingers onto the face and gently blend into skin. Let it set and follow with makeup. So that's the claim. So I do kind of have problem skin. My skin can be a little bit sensitive and, uh, and I have oily skin. So packaging wise, it's pretty cute. I like the packaging so far. I like that it is a squeeze tube and you get quite a bit of product. You get 1.3 ounces or 36 grams. So this is, this is quite good for $8. And it's cheaper than the NYX primers. Um, it's a little more expensive than the e.l.f. primers. Oh! And it's sealed, so it has a little safety seal, which is great because if you've been to Walmart, you know people always get in to everything. They always play with the makeup at Walmart, so it's nice that they have a seal on the side. So this is what it looks like coming out of the tube. It's very thick. I can tell right away that this is going to be a silicone based primer. It does have a slight um, chemical smell to it, but nothing I can't deal with. Uh, it's really super thick. I mean like super, super thick. I think this is slightly thicker than the e.l.f. mineral one. And it feels a little bit greasy. Not gonna lie, but it is making my skin feel smooth. So it is giving me an even canvas. Now I already washed my face and I put on my moisturizer that has SPF 30. It says it's lightweight, but it doesn't feel lightweight because it's really thick. I mean, once you blend it out, it doesn't feel too heavy, but I can still tell that it's on my face. Alright, so this is going to be day two of testing this primer from Hard Candy, the Sheer and the Shine Free Primer. And I'm going to be using my Bobbi Brown Stick Foundation. Now this is for normal skin and I do have oily skin. So about one to two hours into wear with this foundation, my skin becomes extremely oily. So I'm going to see if this stops that or at least helps prevent it from being as oily as it's been in the past. Now I really do like the Bobbi Brown foundation because it looks like skin and as long as you layer a thin layer of it, it doesn't look cakey. Again, this primer does feel greasy and really thick. Not something I particularly care for. It is 2.30. And this is the Bobbi Brown Stick Foundation. In the color 425. Yeah, it's just gliding on. I already feel like it has some shine to it already. Alright, so I'm going to be using my e.l.f. high definition powder again and a powder brush. This one's from the BH Cosmetics travel kit and I'm just going to apply this all over my face because it's what I normally do.
Next time, definitely going to line my lips with anti-feather just because I kind of feel like little um, scars around my lips kind of made it feather out a little bit. So yeah, not much you can do. And it's 3.15 right now. Uh, I did use the NYX setting spray just to make my face less powdery and I just use setting spray. So that's what I normally do. Um, I don't get off work until 11 o'clock at night. So I'm gonna have this pretty much from 2.30 to 11 o'clock at night whenever I get off work. Hopefully I get off work on time. Who knows? All right, see you later. Bye. All right, so it was 11 like a little bit after 11 and I'm officially off work and as you guys can see my face is shiny so hmm not really impressed with the primer from hard candy I do still have my blush on so I guess that's kind of impressive kind of feel like the foundation is just like sliding off my face so yeah oh well so not really impressed with the hard candy primer yeah